this is Connie and welcome to a new week of making it work. This is Monday, which is unusual for me, but one of the ladies at work decided she didn't want to work every Monday. So we are trading off. So this week I am working, so I'll have five days this week, and then I'll go back to my four days the next week, and then five and four, and so on. So that's the way it is for now. Things are always changing in my business, it seems like. So let's get to it. There's a lot to talk about today. This is a new week. I'm doing things a bit different this week. So, okay, the first thing I wore today and all week is the Outlast um, primer. Sorry. Um, and then today, which is, um, I talked about yesterday, a few of my foundations or moist, tinted moisturizers, BB creams that are going into the trash because I just know they're too old and um, I'm finding out what happens when they're too old uh, with my skin. And this one here is at least a couple of years old. I got it in a friend mail. It it is actually not even my color. It it looks okay, but it it's a little bit dark for me. Um, this is the Revlon Age Defying with DNA Advantage, and it is in ten bear buff, which is a little bit too dark for me. And as you can see, I've hardly even used it. Um, I don't remember what it was. It's still tacky, very, very tacky on my skin. Um, I don't like the way it feels. It goes on very nicely, but it just stays wet for so long, or tacky feeling for, for way too long. So this one is going to be going all time. Eye primer, use this all the time, love it. For my eyeshadow today, I, this and this week I am using my little chat my little palettes and I'm gonna use one a day these are my small ones that you can only get you know one to two maybe looks out of it my little bit bigger ones the little bit bigger pans I will use like two days in a row but these here I'm using one this is my Dior isn't it beautiful look at that color <laughs> excuse me um, somebody gave me this uh, about a year ago and I couldn't believe that she she didn't want this. She just gave it away. I get a lot of things from her, which is awesome. I also got my Naked 3 palette from her. So anyway, these are the colors, and I know I'm wearing blue today. But this is the palette that I just randomly picked for today. So um, I used this for my base, this pink. This really light purple I used as my my transition and then this color I did not use the dark one this one here I used as my lid color and they are beautiful colors I do like purple and purple goes purple with mascara blue, so. this is also gonna go in the trash after this week it's dried up uh, or you know it'll last me the week but it's it's drying up this is my elf mineral I don't mind now. elf mascaras at all but um, they dry up pretty fast for me anyway. So anyway, this one here is going to go too. I'm just decluttering a little bit as I go. That's the good thing about this makeup of the week. You know what works okay, and what for doesn't. My, for my eyebrows this week. This is the Gimme Brow by Benefit. And I hate, I, you know, I do like the, like the product. I hate this size. Made this just a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. You know, and just used less product in it, but they could have made this a little bit bigger. This is very hard to use, in my opinion. Okay, for my luminizer, or for my my blush today, I'm using Hard Glant, Hard Candy, Glow All the Way in Sunburst. And this is just beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? See, I could use this part as a illuminizer too but I just swish it all together and use it as a blush and then for my luminizer I use the Cindy luminizer and I guess I never realized it was so pink until I put it over this this wet foundation it is really pink um, and a little dab will do you see I'm used to using the drugstore this week and so I used the same amount of this and it was way too much <laughs> You know, you can't really see it right now because I wiped a bit of it off. 
Okay, last thing. For my lipstick this week, I am using my favorite drugstore lipsticks. And those are the Milani. I love these lipsticks. The color I'm using today is the 25 Naturally Chic. It's this color. It's a beautiful nude. Isn't that pretty? Um, I'm actually going to be using, um, later on this week, my favorite all-time lipstick. And that is a Milani. And it is drugstore, but it is wonderful. They're creamy. They go on like a dream. They're very pigmented. They're so pretty. And they last me a while. I mean, they don't last me through eating, but they do last me a while. So, it's Milani. Sorry, Milani. Good morning. This is Tuesday edition of my Making It Work series. Today is my long day. <laughs> of course. I just have an itch. Okay. So the first thing I used today was, um, you know, I'm using the same primer all week, so I'm not going to show that every day, is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream, broad spectrum of 30, and this is in Vanilla. Um, vanilla, I don't think, is the right shade for me. But, you know, it looks okay. It... Um, I had to build it up. It was very sheer. So, and this is, I don't know how, I wish I would have wrote the dates on these or something, because I didn't. Um, from now on, I'm going to. Somehow, I'm going to either keep a spreadsheet on um, my liquid makeup, or I'm going to um, write on them somehow. Now I've got a hair that's bugging me. Okay, so the next thing I used for my eyes was my e.l.f. e.l.f. Wet n' Wild palette. This is... Walking on Eggshells. And I gotta say, I love Wet n' Wild shadows. I need to get more, actually, because this is the only palette that I have at this time. Use this on as my base and my brow bone. I use this as my crease and I use this on my eyelid just like it tells you to do. And I'm very happy with it. I I think it's very pretty. And they go on like a dream. Um, Wet n Wild eyeshadows are wonderful. Okay, and for my lipstick, I tell you what, I feel like I have hair everywhere today. Ah, uh -huh, that time I did. All right, so today I'm wearing the Milani in Pretty Natural. This is my favorite all-time lipstick. I love the color of this. It's just, um, it's not my normal mauve. It is um, a pretty pinky touch of mauve. Let's put it that way. But it's beautiful. I love this color. And I think it really suits me. It is so pretty. I just, I love it. So, you guys got to tell me what you think um, of my hair back like this. Tell me what else to do. Um, clipping it just wasn't really working anymore. Because I'd have to put at least a couple clips on each side. And it would still curl up underneath. And... I don't know. Um, tell me what you think. Of course, my hair needs to be colored really bad. <laughs> Hopefully, if I have time on my days off this week, I have to go over and help my mom. But if I have time, I'll do it. I don't like doing it at night because, you know, it takes a long time for my hair to dry. So, anyway, that is it for Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. This is Connie, and welcome to Wednesday's edition of Making It Work. This is my uh, day three, and let's get right into it and show you what I'm wearing this week. So this week, today for, um, for foundation, I am wearing my Ulta Demi Matte Foundation uh, SPF 20 Oil-Free, Fragrance-Free, Paraben-Free, which is wonderful. I mean, that's kind of what I need. Classic Ivory. And this is what it looks like. It does come in a pump, which is awesome. And it's nice, uh, kind of moussey consistency. Goes on very well. 
uh, it matches my skin tone very well. I, I like this one. Okay, for my eyes today, I am using the Kat Von D uh, True Romance Eyeshadow Set in Dreamer. And this is what the packaging looks like. They're so pretty. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? I am in love with Kat Von D shadows. I need more of them. This is gorgeous. Life. Very pigmented. Not real powdery. You know, everything is a little powdery. But buttery soft. Um, just, I didn't have to work at putting these on at all. Okay. That is today. And my lipstick for today is another Milani. This is a Milani kind of week. And this is in 17 Plum Rose. Another gorgeous shade. I love Milani lipsticks. All right. That is my Wednesday edition. I have the next couple of days off. I'll be doing some filming. So I will talk to you very soon. Bye -bye. Welcome to the Saturday edition of Making It Work. So let's get right into it. I'm running a little late this morning as usual. I um, didn't sleep real good last night, so I about the time I went to sleep really good, the alarm went off. So let's get to this. Um, the face makeup I wore today, the foundation, was the uh, Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation in 15 Ivory which is just a touch dark for me, but it's okay. It works. I do really like this foundation. Um, it goes on, it's a moussey consistency. It goes on really well. It is um, medium to full coverage. You can build it up for sure. Okay, the eye makeup I wore today, Tarina Tarantino, which is one of my favorite, favorite makeup brands, but can't afford a whole lot from her. Um, I used this palette and I used this as my base, this as my crease or transition, and this as my eyelid color today. So, I mean, you can't really, you know, I wear a lot of the same stuff, so um, just a little bit lighter on the lids and a little darker in the transition. Okay, and for my lipstick today, I used the. Um, Milani 61 Matte Naked, which was one of the first lipsticks I got, and I love it. It is just a real nude. It is um, verging on the too light, but it's not, if you know what I mean. It um, goes on well, stays on pretty good. You know, it doesn't stay on through lunch or anything, but it does stay on pretty good. Thank you for joining me today. See you tomorrow in my last day of making it work. Bye-bye. By the way, guys, I have a week left on my giveaway. Make sure that you are subscribed and share, 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 please. I am down to a crawl growing now. So please help me get that up. Thanks. Hey everybody, Bye. this is Connie and welcome back to my Sunday edition of Making It Work. This is the last day of my work week, so I tell you about everything I've worn this week. I've worn a lot this week. So let's get started and going through it. To, um, I'm going to start on my everyday makeup. And I'm just going to grab, so this is going to be out of order. But I used my Cindy Luminizer this week from Benefit or the balm, excuse me, um, and I do love it, but I am finding that it is a little bit too pink for me. It really shows up pink. I kind of like the creamier, the, um, the lighter shades. I do still love this one, but um, it's not my favorite. I still do love this brand, and I do love this um, highlighter is just not my favorite. All right. So then for my um, blush this week, I use the Hard Candy Glow all the way in Sunburst. And it's absolute. this is the way it looks on the outside. But it's absolutely gorgeous. If I can get it open. Just beautiful. And I just swirl everything together. You know, I could use 
the lighter side as a luminizer and the rest as a bulk blush but I just do it all together you can kind of see um, you know it doesn't show up a, a huge ton but it does show up okay and then I used um, my Ulta eye primer which you know I absolutely love this it's kind of on its last legs I would suspect probably another month if that um, this week I used my Gimme Brow by Benefit, and it's just an itty bitty sample size, and that's what drives me crazy about it. I mean, I like like the product. I think it works just fine. It's just so dang small that it's really hard to use. My opinion only, but I do like it. Okay. Um, I used my e.l.f. Mineral Infused Blush. This is the second one that I had, and I'm going to toss it after this week because it, um, it really is drying up. And these don't last as long for me as they do for some people. I don't know why, uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say goodbye to this after this week. Just putting my things over here that I've used. Okay. So let's go into, um, oh, one more item I've used all week of the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Primer. And it's okay. I'm finding that I kind of like the silicone ones. Not a ton of silicone, but the ones that go on a little bit easier. It seems like this takes more than some of my other ones do. And even though I do really like this, and I'm going to use it until it's gone, I'm going to, this is going to be a staple in my Making It Work series. So, all right, let's go on to the foundations. Now, today I used the Ready, Set, Gorgeous by CoverGirl um, Fresh Complexion Oil-Free Foundation. And it's in color 110, which is creamy, natural. I think it's just a touch dark for me. Um... It doesn't take much to to be too dark for me. I've got pretty pale skin. But um, here goes my nose, and I just blew my nose like crazy before I started filming. But anyway, um, it it's a little bit smeary. It smells a little bit. So I don't know. I probably had this well over a year so I'm thinking today is probably its last use also. It's, I probably have about half a deal left of it, but um, it just is not working right the way I want it to. So it's goodbye to this one too. Okay, yesterday I used Dream Velvet by Maybelline. This was in number 15 Ivory. Um, I got to say this is probably my favorite of the week. I really do like this. Anyway, stuff. this is probably my favorite of the whole week. I really do love this stuff. Let's see. Um, this one here, I said that it was going to go this week too because this is probably two years old. This is the Revlon Age Defying with DNA Cream Makeup in. And I don't know buff so this is the last time I'll be using that too um, okay and the Ulta Demi Matte I really do like this um, Ulta's got some pretty good makeup items some of their stuff isn't so great but there's a few of their items I really like and this is one of them it is the Demi Matte oil free fragrance free paraben free which I love then I used the Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream in, in uh, Broad Spectrum 30. And this is in Vanilla. Vanilla is not my right shade, but um, I'll continue to use this. Let's see how many is that. One, two, three, four. That's good. Okay, now for eyeshadows. Okay, today I used, I used this today, this Naked Basics. This is not a real palette. This is a, a fake palette. Went, oh, well, probably a year and a half to a year ago. Um, uh, oh, this is longer than that because I bought this when I lived in my mom's basement. Yeah, 
So this has got to be like three or four years old. Probably three years old. Um, I bought three of these. Um, different ones. And this is the only one that I, I kept. I gave the rest of them away. Because this one worked better than the rest of them. But today, I had a heck of a time with this today. I used this as my base. I used this as my crease. You can tell I really dug in there too. And I used this as my um, shadow eyelid shade plus this one. I used a combination of these two on my lid. And it's not pigmented. It is very powdery. It is so hard to get anything onto your brush. Oh my God. It took me forever just, just going in and in and in to get any color payout at all. So this one's I used going in the, the Elf, or Elf, uh, Wet n Wild Shadows. I really do like Wet n Wild. This was in um, Walking on Eggshells. And I really did like this. This, I've, I've got to get myself some more Wet n Wild because I do like them. They're good shadows. I, I really like the three and four pan ones. Okay. Then I used the Kat Von D in Dreamer. I've got two of these, and I, I love them. I absolutely love them. I got them. Sephora was having a deal on them or something. I don't know. I don't remember. They're really hard to this open. This is what it looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? And they are so pigmented and so just so pretty. I really like them. And then I used um, Trina Tarantino. And this is just, I've got this just dirty. I love Trina Tarantino. I've got two of her little palettes like this too. One's actually smaller than this one. Okay, and this is what that looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? I love Tarina Tarantino. You really don't hear so much about her, though, really. I mean, you know, a few things. And then somebody gave me this, which I'm forever grateful, because look at that. Can you see that CD in there? Kind of a holographic type deal. That C CD shows up, Christian Dior. And look at that. Aren't they beautiful? They are really pretty. And they're just so pigmented. Um, I was, I'm very happy with that palette. You know, even though I don't wear a ton of purple stuff, even though I love purple, I love it. I just don't wear a ton This of week was kind okay. of a Milani kind of week for lipsticks. And Milani, um, is, if you guys know, is my favorite brand of drugstore lipstick. I love Milani. Now, this is the one I wore today is probably my least favorite of the five that I wore this week because um, it's a little bit too pink for me. But I still like it. I mean, I'm not going to get rid of it. I'll still wear it. It is Matte Blissful is what it is. Let's see here. There you go. I need to take that wrapping off there. It's still on there. And there it is, okay. And then I wore, this is Plum Rose. I'm not even going to talk too much about them because I absolutely love this brand. And I highly recommend Milani, these Milani lipsticks. This is Matte Naked. This was the first one I ever got. And you can tell this one's been loved pretty well. And it's really... Almost up, almost my shade of my shade of lips, actually, but I still love it. This one is naturally chic, and I do have a few more, but these were the five that I picked for this week. And this one is my favorite lipstick of all time. I don't know why, I just absolutely love this shade. This is um, pretty natural. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love this shade. All right, guys, that is this week's makeup. Now, on to the weekly giveaway. 
So um, this week's giveaway was for the nails. And the winner to that palette, or those nails, is Christina Saunders. Now, guys, I do need to talk to you about this. I want you to tell me where you are from and just a little tidbit about your about where you're from. Um, you know, if you don't if you're not uncomfortable putting down your city, just put your state. I don't care. Um, state or city or you know whatever and then tell me one one little thing about where you live. I'm just I'm very interested. And please um, let's have lots of comments. Uh, if you like this kind of thing, I would appreciate a like so much. And make sure that you're following me on Instagram and leave that information down below. Okay, so what I'm giving away this week is a Wet n Wild brush. It is the small eyeshadow brush. I have several of these that I'll be doing, you know, um, several different kinds. And I think I've got doubles of everything. I'm not real sure. I can't remember anymore. But... Um, you know, some people still don't have these in their Dollar Trees. And even if you do, who doesn't need another makeup brush? Right? And these are awesome brushes. I love these brushes. So, okay, this is the prize for this week. And make sure that you tell me where you're from and give me one little tidbit. And give me your Instagram name. I just told you two things. That's three things. But, you know, you don't have to tell me something about your state. But you can tell me where you're from. But, you know, it's interesting to, to know something about where you're from. What, where I'm from is Mitchell, South Dakota, and um, we have the world's only corn palace, which is made, the outside, all the decorations are made completely out of corn, with the husks, the everything off of the cobs of corn. It's very interesting. So I will talk to you guys Tuesday in my first day of next week, and bye-bye. Christina, make sure that you um, IM me or email me or something. All my information is down below. Facebook me, whatever. Let me know your information so I can get this sent out tomorrow. Bye-bye.